Okay, let's talk about converting fractions to decimals. In particular, we want to write fractions that have power of 10 denominators as decimal numbers. So we're going to look at a subset of fractions, those fractions that have power of 10 denominators. Before we start, let's remind ourselves that we already, we already know quite a few things. And so let's take a look at what we already know. Okay, number one, we know that a fraction is a ratio of two numbers, the numerator and the denominator, the numerator being the number on top, the denominator being the number on the bottom, usually written one above the other and separated by a horizontal bar. Fractions are a way to represent parts of a whole number or to refer to a portion of a group of items. Okay. The second thing we know, when you read a fraction, you use cardinal numbers, which tell you how many, for the numerator, for example, 1, 2, 3, etc., and ordinal numbers, these tell you, these are numbers you use when you put things in order, 3rd, 4th, 10th, etc., for the denominator. So the numerator are your cardinal numbers, excuse me, the denominator are your ordinal numbers. And when you read them, so for example, 3 over 4 is a fraction, it's read 3 fourths. 3 tells you how many, 3 is a cardinal number, fourths is a number that places things in order. Somebody comes in fourth place, for example. And basically with fractions, the THS will be attached to all of your denominator numbers. Okay, we know two more things. We know that our number system is base 10. And the places to the right of the decimal are as follows. So here's my decimal. The first place to the right is tenths. The second place to the right is the hundredths place. The third place to the right is thousandths. And then you have ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths, and then it just continues. Ten millionths, hundred millionths, billionths, etc., etc. Notice again, all the THSs representing uh, numbers that are after to the right of the decimal point. And finally, we know our powers of ten. The number 10 is 10 to the first power. The number 100 is 10 to the second power, also 10 times 10. 10 to the second power represents 10 times 10. The number 1,000 is 10 to the third power, 10 times 10 times 10. Notice, if you will, that 10 to the third, the third power here, results in three zeros over here. The number 10,000, which has four zeros, is 10 to the fourth. 100,000 is 10 to the fifth. 1 million is 10 to the sixth, and so on, etc. So we know a number of things that can help us with this. Okay, let me turn this over so I have some space. Um, we're dealing again with fractions that have power of 10 denominators. So fractions like 1 tenth and 75 hundredths, one-tenth, 75 hundredths, had denominators that are powers of 10. Okay, again, 10 is 10 to the first power. 100 is 10 to the second power. Any fraction whose denominator is 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, etc., etc., can be written as a decimal number without performing any calculations. And you do that as follows. Use the denominator to find the number of decimal places you need. Okay, place the numerator so that the last digit is in the farthest place on the right. F number three, fill in any blank spaces, if you have any blank spaces, with zeros. So let's take a look at some examples here. Write three tenths as a decimal number. Okay, number one, Use the, use the denominator to find the number of decimal places, okay? 
tenths. So the, the denominator 10 tells us this is tenths, which tells us we have one decimal place. That's the tenths place. Place the numerator so that the last digit is at the farthest place on the right. Here's the numerator. The numerator is only one digit. And the furthest place on the right is right here, so we'll place it here. Fill in any blank spaces with zeros. We don't have any blank spaces, so we can say that 3 tenths is the same as 0.3. And oftentimes, people will place a zero in front. That just, uh, that just gives you a, it just helps to highlight the decimal when you see something like that. But either way is fine. Okay, how about example number two? Okay, let's write... Uh, how about 27 hundredths as a decimal? As a decimal, as a decimal number, same idea. I'll just leave that one there this time. Okay, well, 100. Number one, whoops, let me get my my list here, that's better. Okay, use the denominator to find the number of decimal places. 100 is hundredths. And we know that our hundredths tells us two decimal places in the hundredths place. Okay, place the numerator so that the last digit is in the farthest place on the right. 27 is the numerator. The last digit, 7, needs to be the furthest place on the right. So that's how we're going to place it. Fill in any blank spaces. We don't have any, so we're done. 27 hundredths is the same as 27 hundredths in decimal form. Okay, let's do two more examples. I think I have enough space on my paper here. Example 3. How about we write, uh, let's write three thousandths as a decimal or as a decimal number. Okay, again, use the denominator to find the number of decimal places. This is thousandths. So the 1,000 denominator tells us that we are talking about thousandths. So we're going to need three decimal places, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. We need three to go to thousandths. Okay, now number two, place the numerator. The numerator is three. So the last digit, well there's only one digit, three is in the farthest place on the right. So the three has to be here, the farthest place on the right. And then fill in the blank spaces with zeros. And so three thousandths as a decimal looks like that. Okay, I'm gonna do one more example that's a little bit funky, just to, just to uh, show you how this works in case you're thinking to yourself, what happens if it doesn't fit type thing. Let's write an improper fraction. So we're going to write the fraction 425 hundredths as a decimal. Okay, that's, again, it's an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. Okay, well, we still know our denominator is 100, which tells us we have hundredths. So we're going to need two decimal places. That's hundredths. Okay, now we're going to write the numerator such that the last digit is in the furthest place to the right. So the last digit is 5. It goes here. The 2 goes here. And the 4, in this case, goes in front of the decimal place. So what this says to us is that the improper fraction 425 hundredths as a decimal is 4.25.
and an improper fraction we know is greater than one. And you can see here that the number in front of the decimal being a four, well four is certainly greater than one. So you get 4.25. Okay, so that gives you a sense of how do you deal with uh, fractions that have power of 10 denominators and you, as you write them as decimals.